You've probably heard about the Fair Housing Act, but what is it? It's been around since 1968, and it prohibits the discrimination and intimidation of people in matters concerning the sale, rental, and financing of housing based on race, color, religion, family status, national origin, sex, or disability. The Act is enforced by the Department of Housing and Urban Development, and it covers most housing, with the exception of a few owner-occupied buildings with no more than four units and some single-family housing. So what is prohibited exactly? In the sale and rental of housing, no one may discriminate against you based on your race, color, religion, national origin, sex, family status, or disability. It is against the law to make housing unavailable, refuse to negotiate for housing, refuse to rent or sell houses, deny you of a dwelling, set different terms, conditions, or privileges for sale or rental, provide different housing services than what was offered to someone else, falsely deny that housing is available for inspection, rent, or sale, persuade owners to rent or sell for profit, or deny access to or membership in a facility or service related to housing. If you're applying for a home loan, no one may discriminate against you based on your race, religion, color, national origin, sex, family status, or disability. It is against the law to refuse to make a mortgage loan, refuse to provide loan information, impose different interest rates, terms, fees, or conditions on a loan, discriminate in property appraisal, refuse to purchase a loan, or set different terms or conditions for purchasing a loan. Recently, I came upon a situation where I thought I had lost my home due to foreclosure. I was out of the state at the time, uh, helping my mom, and uh, my son called and said, there's a note on the door saying we need to leave the house, the house is being foreclosed. We did that. We left the house and I thought the house was gone. Nine years later, I was just browsing the internet and I saw where I was still the rightful owner. So I called the mortgage company and they informed me, yes, I was. However, I owed over $200,000 in bills. I was flabbergasted. I just could not believe I owned the house, yet wasn't in there and owed all this money. So I did some research online and I found out there are rights that I still do have for my home. So I contacted the Houston Area Urban League and lo and behold, they showed me my rights. We went through them and right now I am trying to regain possession of my home and I want you to know that you can do that as well. Mortgage lending is complicated anyway, so it's important that you stay alert and informed. Right now, there are predatory lending and mortgage scams that target minority groups, so watch out. Avoid anyone who asks for a fee in advance, who guarantees that they will stop a foreclosure or modify a loan, who tells you to stop paying your mortgage company and pay them instead. If you have a disability, guess what? The law gives you extra protection. Your landlord is required to allow and finance reasonable modifications associated with your disability if they receive federal funding. If they do not, they are required to allow you to make reasonable modifications at your own expense. That means if you are visually impaired, you are allowed a seeing eye dog. If you are mobility impaired, you can request a reserved parking space near your apartment. Also, unless a building qualifies as housing for older people, the landlord may not discriminate against pregnant women or if you have a child under 18 living with you. Keep in mind, Discrimination is not always easy to recognize. It doesn't come with a plain label. You have to look for signs. A lot of people think discrimination doesn't happen to renters, but it happens all the time. Um, you're disabled, can't walk well, maybe in a wheelchair. Uh, sometimes it's not even quite so visible. They just don't like the way you look. You go to rent to an apartment, you make out the application, it's fine over the phone and you go to maybe view and they want deposit, they want last month's rent, first month's rent. That's a whole lot of money. Then maybe somebody you know go 
they got $500 down, and then they get just a special move-in deal, and you go, well, I was just there, and it, I didn't get that. But what do you do? Because it's just your word against theirs, and it happens all the time. So you think you've been scammed or discriminated against. What do you do about it? You contact the Houston Area Urban League Fair Housing Hotline at 713-393-8732. Paul has teamed up with the Houston Volunteer Lawyers Program to provide assistance to victims of fair housing and fair lending violations. Don't worry, we'll put that number up again at the end of the video. You call the number, you file the complaint, HUD will notify you in writing when your complaint is accepted. HUD will also notify the alleged violator and give them time to submit a written response to the complaint. HUD will investigate the complaint to determine if the law was broken. HUD has 100 days to do so or give you a reason for the delay. During the investigation, you and the alleged violator will have the chance to resolve your complaint in what's called a conciliation agreement. Once you sign this and HUD approves, the investigation will stop. However, if you feel that the alleged violator goes back on the agreement, call HUD and let them know. If they determine that the agreement was breached, the matter will go to a federal district court. You also have the right to file a private civil lawsuit, provided you do it within two years of the alleged discrimination. The civil suit must be filed at your own expense. But if you can't afford a lawyer, the court may appoint one for you. Remember, fair housing isn't just an option. It's the law, period. Equality, freedom, and opportunity are things that we all treasure. When you stand up for your rights, you're standing up for everyone's. If you think you are a victim of housing or lending discrimination or a mortgage scam, call us at 713-393-8732. Thank you.